the Gambia Maritime Administration generously donated around 1,000 life saving jackets to boat owners at the Banjil Bara crossing point with the aim to enhance passenger safety. The donation of the life saving jackets comes at a time when more people now rely on the boats for crossing after the ferry service suspended ferries operation between Bar and Banjul until further notice. Our reporter, Kadir Jalo, tells us more of that in this report. The Gambia ferry services have been grappling with significant challenges, particularly the increase in port service between Banjul and Bara. Towards the latest incident of the Kanilai ferry triggered dissenting reaction among the public. The Kanilai ferry Friday developed an engine failure in the middle of the sea while en route to Bara resulted in the suspension of ferry services until further notice by officials of the Gambia Ferry Service. Cognizant of the high demand of people now relying on the small boats or canoes for crossing, the Gambia Maritime Administration generously donated approximately 1,000 life-saving jackets to ensure safety of passengers during their daily transportation. The Navy commander at the Banjul Shipyard Major Farah Job, while presenting the donated jackets, strongly urges all the passengers traveling on the Banjul Barrel Road to wear the life-saving jackets from their safety. He stressed that the jackets are designed to keep so one of food for more than 72 hours in case of an emergency. Compliance to safety is very important. That should supersede your belief in, you know, having to be neat or whatsoever. What we need is let us put on these life jackets for safety. It can keep you afloat for at least 72 hours so that you could be rescued. But you don't want to put on the life jackets and you want to blame the Navy no, it's not going to be possible because if you blame us, we will just keep quiet, maybe because of your ignorance. But we are trying to enlighten people to understand that if you are on board these boats, you have to put on the life jackets until when you arrive and you completely alight from the boat. That's the time you hand over the life jacket. That will make it orderly for these things to be kept dry and then others will use it. But if you want to dump it in the boat, People are walking on the, on the life jacket, dirtying it. So at the end of the day, how would you want somebody to put it on? But they have to put these life jackets on to make our job easy. Omar Borturi, the PR manager of the Gambia Ferry Service, on behalf of the beneficiaries, thanked the maritime officials for the gesture. He emphasized that the provision of the life jackets is crucial to protect and ensure the safety of passengers during boat transportation. According to Mr. Turi, their primary goal is to safeguard the well-being of all passengers. The life jackets is to protect and not to cause any disaster. Uh, with the management of the ports and the Gambia Ferry Services, plus the management of the Gambia Maritime uh, Administration, uh, very, very, very story of even giving out this at this present moment. Because it's our responsibility to service those crossing both from Banjul and Bara. But actually giving this out, you have to take your responsibilities. Taking your responsibilities is making so that everybody who boarded this vessel must have this. Even the captain should wear this. So for the meantime, we are appealing on behalf of the Alcala of Bara, who is a veteran on these small canoes, on an advice so that they can give advice to those flying boat from Banjul and Bara. In the aftermath of the latest ferry crisis, there has been a persistent constraint for the public causing immense suffering and inconveniency. Among other things, public is demanding the authorities to take action to address this long-standing problem, coupled with the recent incident involving the Kanilai ferry, only highlights the urgent need for better and more reliable ferry services. For African News, Khadija Tujala.